In this video, we'll see how to delete an element from ABL tree. ABL tree deletion. So, to delete an element, first of all, you should know what is ABL tree. Have to insert an element into ABL tree. So, rotations. Everything I have explained in previous video. Once you go through it, in this video, we'll discuss deletion. And briefly, I'll tell you what is ABL tree. It is a self-balanced binary search tree. Self-balanced binary search tree. What is binary search tree? Left subtree elements are less than root. Right subtree elements are greater than root. And every node is associated with balance factor. Have to calculate balance factor. Left subtree height minus right subtree height. If at all, if you take 15, left subtree height 1, 2, 3. Right subtree height 1, 2, 3. So, 3 minus 3 it is 0. Like this for each and every node, you have to calculate balance factor. Balance factor it should be in between 1 and minus 1. It means it can be 1, 0 or minus 1. Other than these three values, if your balance factor is other than these three values, that is unbalanced, we have to balance with the help of rotations. Okay, now we will take this example. See, the balance factors are in between 1 and minus 1 only. So, it is balanced tree. It is AVL tree, perfect AVL tree. Now, I am going to delete one by one element. The first element it is 8. So, first of all you have to search. It is less than 15, less than 11 and greater than 6. Like this we have to find out where is 8. After finding 8, now I am going to remove this 8. How to remove? It is a binary search tree. Same like binary search tree we have to remove. So, 8 is leaf node. There is no children for 8. So, directly we can remove 8. No problem. Directly we can remove because it is leaf node. After removing, we will go to next element. No. But before going to removing the next element, after deletion, once again, you have to write balance factors. If it is balanced, then only you can remove another element. That is the difference. So, again, I am going to write a complete tree. This, this is AVL tree after deleting 8. Now, once again we have to write balance factor. All leaf nodes balance factor is 0 because there is no left and right subtree for leaf nodes. For 6, 1 minus 0 it is 1. For 12, 0 minus 1, minus 1. And 17, 1 minus 0 it is 1. 54, 0 minus 1 it is minus 1. For 11, 2 minus 2 it is 0. For 18, 2 minus 2 it is 0, 15 also, 3 minus 3 it is 0. See, like this we have to write balance factors. Now, this is balanced only, this is AVL tree. So, if at all it is unbalanced, we have to balance. Now, that is not necessary because it is balanced. The next element it is 6. So, first we have to find out where is 6. 6 is less than 15, 6 is less than 11. Now, here it is 6. Now we have to remove 6. How to remove 6? So 6 is having one child. Okay. That is left child. Either left or right. If the node is having only one children, we have to replace node with child node. So first we will replace. Afterwards we will write balance factors. See 15, 11. Now I am going to remove 6. So 6 is replaced with 3. The remaining as it is. AVL tree after deleting the element 6. Okay. Now, again once again we have to write balance factor. Leaf nodes balance factor is 0. For 12, 0 minus 1, minus 1. 17, 1 minus 0, 1, 54. 0 minus 1, it is minus 1. For 18, 2 minus 2 it is 0. For 11, 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. See, for 15, left subtree height 1, 2, 3. Longest path we have to take 3. Right subtree height also 3. 3 minus 3 it is 0. So, once again it is balanced. We will remove one more element that is 15. Sorry, 11. Have to remove 11. First of all, we have to find out where is 11. 11 is less than 15. Here it is. Okay. Now, 
have to remove level first of all we have to check how many children are there if it is leaf node directly we can remove and if the node is having one child it is replaced with child node now the node is having two children so with three i should replace or 12 or 13 so if the node is having two children then we have to replace with either in order predecessor or in order successor so in easy way i'll tell you how to find out predecessor and successor in order predecessor means in left subtree largest element from left subtree but now in this example there is only one element or otherwise you have to take largest element from left subtree largest element from left subtree or else smallest element from right subtree means this is in order predecessor and this one is in order successor successor means coming element predecessor means before that so predecessor means largest element from left subtree successor means smallest element from right subtree you can replace with predecessor or successor now i am going to replace with predecessor you can replace with anyone so i am going to replace with predecessor now predecessor is 3 so 11 is replaced with 3 so after replacing once again i am going to draw avl tree after deleting 11 so 11 replaced with in order predecessor that is 3 now there is no left to separate now once again we will write balance factors the leaf nodes is 0 for 12 there is no left separate so 0 minus 1 it is minus 1 for 17 1 minus 1 see 3 there is no left separate so 0 left separate height is 0 right separate height is 2 0 minus 2 it is minus 2 for 18 2 minus 2 it is 0 for 15 1 2 3 1 2 3 it is 0 see now it is balanced or unbalanced it is unbalanced it is not balanced see 3 balance factor is minus 2 it is not in between 1 and minus 1 if at all it is unbalanced first of all you have to balance then only you can remove the next element so how to balance this tree see 3 is unbalanced so which rotation we have to perform so 13 is added right 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 so rr rotation so when you perform rr rotation rr means so anti clockwise you have to remove you have to move like this you have to move like this so 12 becomes a root so if you take these three elements so these three elements are like this you have to move anti clockwise not complete so the middle one goes up see middle one means 12 12 becomes a root in left subtree 3 goes down and 12 right it is 13 okay now 15 right as it is right subtree so once again we will write balance factors 0 0 0 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 0 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 it is 0 for 15 1 2 1 2 3 so 2 minus 3 it is minus 1 now it is balanced like this if at all if the tree is unbalanced after deleting any element we have to balance and then only you can remove the next element that is the difference between binary search tree deletion and avl tree deletion so deletion is same like binary search tree but after deletion you have to write balance factors if it is unbalanced we have to balance the tree and uh, we'll remove one more element the another element is 15 so 15 equals to 15 so 15 is at root position only we'll see how to remove 15 how many children are there for 15 or 2 left child and right child so with which element we have to replace either in order predecessor or in order successor just now I explained how to find out in order predecessor largest element from left subtree. In left subtree largest element is 13. So you can replace with 13 or successor. Successor means next element. Smallest element from right subtree. Right subtree smallest element is 16. So either you can replace with 13 or replace with 16. 
Now, I am going to replace with 13. Now, we have to remove 15 and in place of 15, we have to write 13. Now, 13 left it is 12. 12 left it is 3. 13 already, 15 is replaced with 13. Again, no need to write. Now, 13 right side it is 18. 18 left it is 17, 16, 54 and 60. Five. So, like this we have to replace and next we have to write balance factors. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, it is 0, 2, minus 3, it is minus 1. So, no need to balance that already it is balanced only. Like this we have to delete an element from avian tree.